So the very first thing is focus, which we already talked about briefly. You use the focusing ring on the camera unless you're using auto mode. Generally, we're gonna be using manual focus mode. And what you're doing is you're telling the camera or the lens what to focus on according to its distance from the lens itself. The next element of a lens is the image stabilization. Some lenses have this, some lenses don't, but if your lens has it, I suggest you turn it on. It's basically just a little element in the back of the lens. It acts kind of like a gyro, uh, counteracting movement, hand shaking, just kind of smoothing out the overall look and taking out tiny vibrations. It can't do a whole lot, but it does definitely make a little bit of a difference when you're shooting handheld and you got some shaky hands. So the next is the aperture, which we spoke on. It affects how much lens, how much light, how many cows are entering your lens. The next is the focal length of the lens. The focal length is the millimeters that is in the name of what the lens actually is. So a 24 to 70, millimeter that's the focal length of that lens so the lower the number of the focal length the millimeter the wider the lens is right you know like gopros super wide angle lens fisheye these are generally eight millimeter i'm shooting right now on a 24 millimeter that's the focal length the width or the narrowness that the lens captures depending on what kind of lens you have each lens has a focal length there are prime lenses and there are zoom lenses as well a zoom lens has a variable focal length, okay? So a 24 to 70 is a zoom lens because you can set the focal length at multiple different millimeters. A prime lens, on the other hand, has a fixed focal length, which we'll talk about a little bit more, what the pros and the cons are for each lens, whether it be a prime or a zoom. The next element of each lens that is really important is the clarity. Not only does the glass that you have in your lens affect the focal length, right? It also affects the image clarity. So the cheaper glass that you buy, the lower the clarity of the lens is. So if you buy a 50 millimeter 1.8, this is a lower, let's say you buy a Canon brand 50 millimeter 1.8. There's the Canon 50 millimeter 1.8, 1.4, and 1.2, right? There's not that big of a difference in the maximum aperture, but really what you're paying for is the quality of the glass. So that's something to really bear in mind here that you can go out and you can purchase these, you know, kit lenses that they have, or it's like a 70 to 200 and it's only like $200. You're gonna get what you pay for, okay? I start, you have to start somewhere, so that's something to keep in mind that I started with, you know, pretty crappy glass, and you slowly work your way up, and the higher quality the glass is, the more professional, and the more clear, and the more clarity that your image will have. So the difference between a 1.8 and a 1.4 and a 1.2, all 50 millimeters, there's just slightly a wider aperture, but really, the glass is gonna make a huge difference on the overall aesthetic of the lens.